Okay, we are live. I am just doing a bit of a test stream, so I don't know how this is going to work. Um, but uh, let me see what happens. Uh, I am going to try and just write a quick little Hello World script, uh, or Hello World project rather, uh, in GNU Step using a um, uh, live distribution of FreeBSD called LiveStep, which is based on Fury BSD, which has the GNU Step tools built in. So I haven't actually um, tried using this distribution before. I've installed it to the hard disk on this uh, machine, but I have, uh, and I've done like, some GNU Step work, of course, um, but this is the first time I'm going to try using uh, GNU Step on live step for some coding. Um, so interestingly I just noticed so uh, the, the these apps Project Center uh, which has an R missing which is why I noticed that interested me uh, the tool tip has got cut off. Uh, anyway uh, Project Center is a bit like a um, project builder which is the forerunner to Xcode um, the IDE that uh, the you know, the proprietary Apple IDE, um, the one that Next had was called uh, Project Builder, and that uh, was present in the first few versions of Mac OS X as well, uh, before Apple uh, released Xcode. So Project Center is similar to that that old IDE. Of course, you don't have to use Project um, Center. Uh, or uh, I think Project Maker is the other pro um, is the other like IDE tool for GNU Step. You can just use text editor. You can use Emacs. You can use you know Vim. You can use Visual Studio Code. Um, th what the Project Center tool will do is like manage the make file um, that uh, GNU Step Make uses. So. Uh, with Project Builder and with Project Center, so with early like Coco and with uh, GNU Step, the build is specified in a make file that uses a bunch of rules that are built into the system, and that um, the, uh, the the tell the uh, the tool how to build like an app. So you don't need to like tell it where all of the libraries are all the time because those rules come from the the like common files, um, they don't use a special sort of IDE project format like Xcode does, and then GORM is the interface builder. Well, I'm not going to use GORM today. Uh, I am going to uh, run Project Center and uh, just try and create a, um, a Hello World project. I just want to see what is available. So we're going to create a new project um, in my uh, in my desktop why not uh, and here we get to choose the type of the project so you know, everything that you might uh, want is there application bundle framework library uh, and tool these are all things we would recognize from um, you know, using Xcode or trying to build Mac apps uh, you're probably seeing that there's uh, they've borrowed this sort of aqua glowy button effect and that the animation there is causing some um, glitches on the screen. I can see that on my version of the screen as well, so it's not just the stream that's doing that. That's actually um, a glitch that's uh, showing in the, uh, you know, in that, in the, um, the UI for LiveStep. So I'm going to create a tool which is basically a command line tool. Uh, aggregate is what I would do if I had a project that had multiple targets. So let's say I had a, an app and a command line tool and then a shared code library. I would build an aggregate that understood how to construct uh, all of those. Um, hello, the only Mrs. Baker. Uh, good to see you. Um, I hope you're well. I understand that things are cold where you are. Um, certainly a lot colder than they are here. Uh, let's call that thing Hello World and create that project. And so we saw that this has created a um, a folder, and 
as I said, there's a, a, a make file. There's the these things are useful for sort of putting your own uh, custom configuration or rules in that then won't get managed by uh, Project Center because it's only going to modify this make file. Um, there's the project file. There's info plist and a main .m, so an Objective C source file, and then uh, a resources folder which doesn't have anything in. The scroll bar on this browser is on the left of the column, and uh, if you have never used Next Step, this will be alien to you. Um, scrollers in Next Step were put on the left, and the reason is that most of the sort of important content in a document in a left to right language is on the left of the page. You know, uh, you're often left justify and so everything that is on the, um, the left of the page would be like the titles, the first sentences of paragraphs, section headers and so on and so that will be where um, things turn up when you uh, like you know, when you're sort of scrolling through a document so it keeps you visually looking at where, uh, where the where you are in the scroll and what the document is under the scroll so it's actually a pretty good um, sort of uh, application of fits law uh, the idea that you shouldn't have to like move far towards the target if you're looking at a document here and you want to scroll it you only want to go to there you don't want to have to go all the way over to this side of the window but <clears throat> next to the only people who ever did this um, Coco uh, or rather Aqua on Mac OS 10 kept the scrollers on the right as they had been in the classic Mac OS uh, the Amiga has scrollers on the right Windows has scrollers on the right um, you're not going to see this outside of uh, Next Step and tools that are um, derived from Next Step such as canoe uh, step tools. So here we see my source code. Um, obviously, I don't have my name in the uh, GCOS uh, field of my uh, of my password file, so it didn't work out what my name was. Um, but it has given us a um, a, a template project. This code will almost certainly work. What I'm going to do is just add a little hello world uh, line so that we can see that it is indeed uh, doing what we want. Save that. With, uh, com uh, so the command key is, uh, is alt on my keyboard, not the Windows key, which is what I was expecting. So, yeah, we should be able to uh, to uh, build this. This is all looking very much like uh, the Next Step Project Builder, and that worked. And we should be able to launch it. And this, uh, these icons. Uh, this one is just launch your program, and this one is debug your program. So this would uh, run it under uh, LLDB or, whatever, or GDB, or whatever. Um, so we've got my log message, but we've also got some stuff that's coming from the uh, the libraries. I'm not too worried about that for the moment. My code is working; it's doing what I thought, um, and so I'm going to leave that. Uh, there, there is an interesting question in what is causing these messages. I don't want to go into that now. You know, if I do another stream on this, then I will uh, look into that. Um, but not right now. Okay, so it worked, and we got our um, hello world. Uh, by the way, I don't have to edit my code in line. I can double click to open a window. Uh, again, scrollers on the left over where all of the source is, because we indent from the left. So, so my next question is, what version of uh, of the language can I uh, use here? So, can I um, can 
can I use an Objective-C Arc auto-release pool instead of a uh, uh, instead instead of a, a, a manually defined one? Um, let's have a look. Yep, that worked. Presumably everything will uh, run the same, but yeah, it's good to try that anyway. And now, of course, <coughs> I can keep my console and my um, source editor and my build window all up at the same time. Um, and this is the log window for Project Center itself, which I'm not so interested in. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't have to sort of remember all the keyboard uh, shortcuts, not that there are that many. And I don't have to, like, navigate away from the errors to see the console output or the source code, uh, because these are all in separate windows. This is just, like, the way that uh, next step sort of uh, defined these tools. Okay, so that's good. I can use modern Objective-C. Uh, now, my next question is, can I define a, uh, a block? Uh, so, can I wrap all of this in an Objective-C uh, block? Okay, maybe we don't need to go overboard with the um, getting the indentation correct, but yeah, I want to now. And also, can I remember Objective C blocks in Tags? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've written that uh, without a whole lot of like support from my um, uh, from my ID. But yes, I can use Objective C blocks, and now I can run my tool, and that's still going to work because I'm not really doing anything per se with block apart from defining it and then executing it in line. So um, that is a quick introduction to the developer tools, uh, Project Center running on the live step environment. Um, I am planning to set up a stream for uh, showing how Objective-C development works uh, under Glue Step using live step. Um, I have yet to do so. Look at the, uh, you know, look at my blog, uh, over the next couple of weeks, uh, which is at sicpers.info, uh, SICPERS, that's the Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programmers, uh, .info. Um, I will post there when I have something to share, uh, but uh, I look forward to seeing you soon, and I hope that was an interesting and useful introduction for you.